I'm Mike. And I'm Marty. We're Shenandoah. And we're here with Do You Remember? If I had two dozen roses and you know everybody loves wine. Award-winning country music group Shenandoah, Marty, Mike. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Hey, we appreciate you having. Absolutely, Nick. thank you. Please, please, and thank you. So I'm gonna jump right in. What's it like being back together with Shenandoah? Uh, you guys getting to perform? You know, coming back, it's it's really actually been a very very refreshing thing. The kind of pressure that was applied at one time is not there anymore. So therefore, you know, it 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 literally gives room and and leads way for a whole lot more relaxation uh, and, I, and I actually think the crowds get that we be who we are that kind of stuff we're not trying to impress anybody you know thank goodness you know we've had some records that, that, that would have folks come out to see us and then we just try to we try to do everything in the world we can to try to express ourselves and, and let ourselves come out as much as the music does biggest musical inspiration when you guys were growing up I would have to say for me because uh, I had two brothers and we sang and uh, my dad was a fiddle player. And uh, I mean, we literally cut our teeth on bluegrass music. Yeah. And uh, big fan of the Osborne brothers. Not the Osmonds, mm -hmm. the Osborne mm -hmm. brothers, Bobby and Sonny. And uh, you know, the Delmore brothers, and the Leuven brothers, and Jim and Jesse, and the Virginia boys, and, and uh, uh, Ralph Stanley and his brother Carter, the Stanley brothers, uh, was tremendous fans of what they did musically when we were growing up. You know, we were brothers, so most of the stuff that we did, we did, we did the tunes that the other brother acts did. Awesome. So, for uh, me, I, I'd say Boston for me. Okay. Uh, I was, I was a teenager already, but from as far as influencing me as a musician, I had a drum set in my bedroom, and I would put headphones on, and I would play that Boston, that first Boston album. I think it was called More Than a Feeling, if I remember right. But I mean, I knew that album from front to end. You know, I mean, I could play everything that guy was playing, just from playing. And I never had drum lessons. I never, I wish I had, I'd be a lot better drummer than I am. But, but I learned Boston. how to play all the, the Boston albums. A new album, it comes out Friday. And we're taking this, it's called Reloading. Uh, it's got the nine live tracks of uh, nine of the number one record. 